Yeah. All right, we're good, I think. Yeah, we're good. back. A little bit of a crash there. Yep. Very strange. Hopefully it won't keep happening. Yeah, hopefully. Okay. But hey, it's not like it's fall 76. <laughs> yeah, I mean, all the problems are relatively minor. Yeah. <sighs> if it starts crashing over and over again, that'll get pretty frustrating. Do you think that does the standards are going to get off now that they're owned by Microsoft? I don't know. What are Microsoft standards? To be honest, I don't know when it comes to, you know... First party stuff tends to at least work. It tends to at least not be like just like out and out broken. Mm. I just I'm not a fan of Microsoft as a corporation. Well, I'm not really. Either. Well, no, I mean, is Sony a good corporation? Sony's fine. I mean, there are, they turned a bunch Sony. of orphans orange once. Did they? Yeah. <laughs> like Oopa Loopas? Yeah. Uh, they just they just Whoa, they dumped chemicals that's... in a water supply near an oh, orphanage okay. and the kids turned orange from be getting in the water. Oh man, I gotta give them brownie points for making Oompa Loompas real. That would just create an entire generation of Donald Trumps. Oh, that would be bad. Yeah, that's not good, dude. So, yeah, final... there... Orange, orange kids bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I can't think of very many corporations that are, like, actually, like, objectively good. I don't think there are any. Exactly. At the at best, at best, they're ambivalent to like society's concerns because they're they're only beholden they are legally only allowed to think about what benefits their shareholders right. right yeah the best you can do as a corporation is like self-interested but not like cartoonishly evil right. yep well and i mean like so many of the ones that claim to be good are some of the worst yeah. oh yeah well they all claim to be worse, that's true I just always thought it was amazing that Google dropped Don't Be Evil as a slogan. <laughs> right. <laughs> One thing for you to never make that your slogan, but, but to oh my God, to have it, to have it, to ha have it be your slogan, and then... We need to be evil sometimes. Yeah, like, like, we can't always not be evil. That should have been a new slogan. <laughs> Don't always be evil. <laughs> always be evil. Oh, they change that. <laughs> don't. It's going to be like Sometimes the Indian that told the kids as part of the uh, Don't Do Drugs program. Yeah. Where it would say, like, uh, like don't do drugs, but as you sharpened it, it was, it was oh, it was too cool to do drugs, is what it said. Mm -hmm. And as you sharpened it, the words would slowly disappear until it eventually said, cool to do drugs, and then just do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. That's... Like the kids weren't actually intended to use the pencils, apparently. Ah. Uh -uh. You probably shouldn't hand them out in school. Yeah, no, that doesn't seem like a yeah, good no, idea. Yeah, no, that's pretty stupid. Definitely. Leave it, leave it, but I mean, also leave it to the government just, like, I mean, not to think about any of that kind of shit. Like how I think will affect anybody in a practical world sense? Yep. No, just, just, I mean, like, it, it would take second order thinking to go, oh yeah, pencils do get shorter as people <laughs> use them. Right. Like, that's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, those turrets really do just clean up. Mm-hmm. It's pretty slick. Oh, have you guys heard about this <laughs> penis worm? Penis worm? Yeah, it uh, apparently... It's like that worm in the Amazon that like, calls up your dick? No, fish. no, 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 Sorry. penis term is actually... Penis worm is actually its uh, its scientific name. Oh, you're talking about the undersea worm? Yeah, from 500 million years ago? Yeah, yeah. Apparently, they uh, they invented the hermit crab lifestyle. They were the first, they were the first creatures to appropriate... Um, something else oh, shell as a whole. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey, get out of that shell. That's cultural appropriation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Fucking bigoted ass penis worm. <laughs> no, but they were they were the first ones. Penis worms on their dicks, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, scientists and uh, biologists in uh, in China were able to 
prove that they were the first creatures to occupy something else's shell, yeah. like as their as their home. I thought you meant like a parasitic worm that like lives in your dick. Or oh no 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 no! They're just shaped like dicks, and I guess that's why they're called penis worms. Yeah, I've heard about them. There's like a whole shitload of those that live on the sea floor. Yeah. Some of them are pretty fucking nasty too. Like bobbit worms. Okay. Yeah, they've got like these horrifying like mouth structures that's like something out of alien. Ah. Uh. I saw in Australia they uh, there's a species of lamprey that they had thought had been extinct, um, but they ended up finding um, oh seriously finding a bunch of them, and their mouths are just horrifying. It's like a garbage. It's like a biological garbage disposal, basically. Oh, like, yeah. yeah, they'll tear your ass up. Yeah, lampreys are something you don't want. Mm -hmm. No. No. Well, they are like they are like giant leeches, basically. Yeah. I mean, they don't suck blood; they actually eat shit. But but they really look bad. like look like a giant leech for sure. Some of those lamprey species too, like the like they don't just have like the first row of circular teeth; mm -hmm. they have just row and row after. Them. Yeah, just down their. I don't know if you'd call it an esophagus, but just like their. Fucking, I mean, because it's basically their entire body is like a hollow tube, but right. yeah, I would not want to get my arm caught in one of those things. <laughs> Some of those can be really big, too. Mm hmm. Huge. Have you ever seen uh, the hagfish oh, where yeah. they can just squeeze that fucking KY jelly out of them all day? <laughs> like, just like not fucking good, pounds of it. They apparently make decent wallets out of them. Out of the like hagfish? Hagfish leather, yeah. Huh. Apparently it's it's starting to become a thing. I would not have guessed that was a possibility. Neither would I. We're uh, gonna be wearing like hagfish leather jackets and shit. Oh my god. It's not gonna be the new like like Just 80s. Hag comeback. hagfish pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> hope not. That would be pretty disgusting. Fine, fine. Okay. So what area are we in here? Right. Tristed oh, yeah, Rock. Okay. Rock. Fraggle Rock. <laughs> on the cliffside door above the bunker entrance, following the area to the right from your starting point on the map, once you get inside the utility room, find the blueprint with four color-coded wires. Can you say the utility room? Yeah. I thought it's the titillating room. <laughs> I mean, if I could find that instead. <laughs> oh, God. You know it's good when something's titillating? It's got the word tit in it. Really? <laughs> It's not this. Oh, we got firecrackers. You know, there's an entire, uh, like, huh. genus of birds that are called tits. Mm hmm. There is also a blue footed booby. Yes. It implies there are probably other types of boobies as well. Mm. <laughs> oh, there's big ones. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I'm just, I'm just going in and making. I'm just going to check a video for this one because I don't want to wander around on the same thing okay. we were wandering around for in the last video. Come on, okay. babe. It's great TV to watch you like stumble around like Mr. Magoo. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> to not know what's going on. People people are, tuning, it, people are tuning in to watch you just, just circle jerk this, this game, yeah. yeah. They're, they're here to watch me fuck it up specifically. <laughs> yeah. Genre, like, instead of let's play, it's like let's fail. Yeah. I'm sure somebody has done that, I bet. Yeah, that's probably true. I started a new. Oh, you're <laughs> we can start a new. We can start a new. Uh, a new. Um, a new channel. Not channel. Like a new segment on. Yeah, a new segment on our on our channel here called like incompetence and incontinence, and you can just shit your <laughs> pants and just like lose. <laughs> so, yeah. so be a Joe Biden. Is yeah, that what dude, yeah, me? yeah. Just, I just, yeah, just, just, just. Every time you die, just like, ah, oh, took another dump. Yeah, <laughs> just, yep, yep. If you, if you if you lose, you have to shit your pants. <laughs> <laughs> and if you win, you have to shit your pants as well. Okay. The only downside is that our viewers wouldn't be able to smell it. Yeah, no uh, smell of it. Why do you think they need to? <laughs> yeah, I mean, they gotta get the experience, you know. We'll have to get, like, a sommelier to, like, sniff your ass and, like, give people, like, tell people it's got, like, hints of aged cheddar and shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. 
That's horrifying. <laughs> like my, my new flavor idea. By the shit, way. shit, you, you, uh, your shit Molly, eh, dude? <laughs> okay, what'd you say? You yeah. shouldn't like my newest flavor idea. What's your newest I flavor? I don't Alex will either. It's a uh, <laughs> chocolate cheddar. Uh, cheese and chocolate mixed yeah, together. Like, you know, like, Don't you know, they do that cheese. already at like fondue places? They give you like a little cheese, like a little like cheese cubes. For uh, there's some cheeses I think people eat with chocolate. But I mean, like it's like you know how you can get chocolate milk. This is like a like a like a brick of like chocolate, chocolate cheese. cheese. I think I've seen that before. Really? Yeah, in Wisconsin, I'm pretty sure I've seen them uh, mix, mix, mix some chocolate. <laughs> Mix some chocolate into the cheese, yeah. It doesn't, I mean, like, I'm not, I mean, that doesn't sound, I don't know if that sounds, it could, I don't know if it sounds horrible, I, it doesn't sound that good to me. No, uh, I mean, the, the, definitely the, the mayo-octopus combo, well, also I eat takoyaki, which is mayo and octopus, so. See, see, I told you. <laughs> well, you know. You just need to be open to trying new things. I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. Cap. I don't know, man. I Taco, have to learn or say, do anything new. Takoyaki is pretty good, dude. See? Is it? It is, is pretty it good. Is yeah. It's, it's like one of the most popular snacks in Japan. Japanese can't be wrong. Uh, not that bad. Ah, uh, they're pretty good on food. I gotta give them that. They're wrong about yeah, a lot. Of, they're wrong about a lot of things, but. Okay. Oh. So green. Green yeah, blue. Nice. Green, red, blue, yellow. red, yellow. Okay. Green, blue, red, yellow. So that'll prevent the reactor from just melting down. But that the thing is, is that also changes each okay. time. Okay. So like that, like if you are like going in and trying to like, you can't use that same solution over again. Okay. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. I mean, I guess. You can get lucky if you guessed, but probably not gonna happen. Yeah, I wouldn't trust it. Say, how do you feel about vegan mayonnaise? What is that even? What is it? I think yeah. it's mostly just whipped grease. Whipped Ew. grease. Mm. It's the same thing margarine's made out of. I mean, I'm not. I guess I'm not a margarine guy either. You butter guy? More, yeah, I'm a real think, butter guy. You're a real butter guy. Like whipped grease straight out of the car. <laughs> I think he whips his own grease. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. With vigorous fist pumping motions. Would you call that a grease monkey? Ooh. What? You <laughs> hear the way that guy said mm -hmm. that? He literally went, what? <laughs> Did you know that when they introduced like processed cheese, like American cheese? Right. Um, the cheese industry at that time wanted it to be called embalmed cheese. Embalmed <laughs> cheese. That was delicious. That was, yeah, that was, uh, they were pushing the FDA to have it classified as embalmed. Get your fresh mummy cheese. <laughs> Grass it up. Crazy. I guess I had to crawl out of whatever hole you were in. Weirdly, not, that's not good enough, huh? Alright. I don't know. What else? What else? Did anybody see anything particularly funny this week? I really feel like it didn't. No, I don't remember seeing the real people all the time, uh, I don't know, I saw, you know what Vice.com is up to now? You know how far down that website has fallen? Oh, yeah. How bad is it now? Uh, okay, green? Green, blue, red, yellow. Green, blue, red, red yellow. yellow, yep. There we go. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay. So apparently things, like Vice has fallen so low now that they are now just translating random, like, internet drama from China. Um, really? Yeah, so I came across this story on Vice about how um, apparently some girls, so now they have Costco in China, um, and some girls have been taking selfies in front of Costco, um, and, and other people on the internet 
other people on the internet in China are accusing these people of pretending they're in California by taking what? pictures in front of Costco. <laughs> what? And then how is that even? What? How is this news? <laughs> this is what I'm saying. This is how far Vice has fallen. Is now they're just translating random internet drama from China. <laughs> like this could at least be like an actual issue in China, you know? No, no. There's just it's 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 this. Oh, it's no, this I kept story. that as a clue, so I guess it doesn't Ball reset glitter. each time. Hmm. Make life That's easy. nice. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So apparently they're. Uh, there's there's some people outraged by these Chinese girls taking pictures in front of Costco and posting them on social media. I don't care either. I wouldn't have said this is a really boring story, but I wouldn't have saved it if it wasn't for the fact that like that's where Vice is at now. Like just as a news organization, they've fallen so far now that they're just apparently just translating internet drama from other countries because they don't have anything else to write about I guess that's and cool. because it'd be pretty I'm sure that that's basically free and takes zero research to do right. well, I, mean, you get mm -hmm. I suppose but I mean if you if, if one of their employees speaks Chinese then it just doesn't take much research to like go on you know yeah, yeah. whatever social media in China and and just pull a couple posts and be like, whoa, the big thing in China right now is that people are mad about girls taking pictures at Costco. <laughs> I just can't imagine a more nothing fucking story to write. Should you imagine go to school for journalism and you're writing that <laughs> shit? <laughs> oh, I'd be embarrassed, dude. I'd be so fucking embarrassed. Just like, did you like, have you got any major scoops lately? <laughs> Could you imagine? Story that you break. Yeah. Can you imagine him tell people like about your latest story? <laughs> Just like, yeah, there's an epidemic of like, yeah, pictures I, at Costco. <laughs> I had old WeChat for an hour yeah. today. Yeah. <laughs> that is what it is. I mean, not to say that a lot of our media hasn't now become even. The sadder thing is that in the U.S., I guess I can't even judge Vice. I just thought it was weird that they were translating foreign internet drama. Yeah, but like, English but English like, drama. but fucking like, even Washington Post sometimes will post stories that are just entirely reliant around some drama going down on Twitter, and they'll post yep. like, and they'll put a bunch of fucking Twitter posts hyperlinked into yep. the into the article right I, I'm especially amazed when it's just random people like people on Twitter were angry today okay. about this and then they'll pick some random person on Twitter's post and just like just like this person said was said this about the situation and it's like do you can't even like you can't even just actually report the news anymore you've got to like you're crowdsourcing it <laughs> from yep. fucking randos on Twitter That's gonna be the future of that that is gonna be the future. That probably will be the future. Oh, dude, if 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 Twitter if Twitter becomes where everyone gets, I mean, it kind of is where a lot of people get their news Ooh, now. Cool, that's a good power. Nice. So the help of something even like with an excess. Oh, that's cool. I think what upsets me the most is that the people people who is all all the journalists that criticize people for getting the news from Facebook, but then they all get their news from Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Be like, how dare you get your information off of social media? But then they Which get their they get their information off of their preferred social media. Oh. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, I, I would prefer to get I would much prefer to get my information from journalists. I'm just not impressed by the journalists. Yeah. I mean, I'm not impressed by random people on Facebook either. I don't get my information from random people on Facebook. I just also don't really want to get my my information from most of these Twitter journalists either. Yeah. Twitter journalists is not a respectable job. No, it, it is shouldn't not. even be a, a, a sentence or a phrase, <laughs> I should say. I just, I think, I think one of the problems was that before social media, like, you know, the journalists did not. Hey, t -Bone. Hey, t -Bone. Oh. Going, t -Bone? What's up? I was asking about you. Yeah, we thought you were dead. Uh, I no, didn't you think didn't. you were. <laughs> I actually we just, said we just missed you. That's I awesome. just said that you deserved a break from us, but you know, if you. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. They said you were in a better place, and that's why I think. That's good. 
Wow. Well, Be that's good. That's good. Yeah, being alive is good. always a positive. Unless oh. you're in horrific pain. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I fucked this all up. Yeah, you're not doing very no, well. No, I'm doing really badly, actually. <laughs> Pretty pretty sleepy right now. Oh my Sage. God. <laughs> you got <laughs> closed in between the gates. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was awesome. pretty good. That was yeah, pretty Sage good. was talking about how he's planning on getting more cash. And Alex was talking yeah. about all the gnomes he's fucking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well. Yeah, yeah, it's been pretty crazy. Sage is thinking about getting more cats, though. Yeah, he, yeah, he was... He Ulysses was, was marathoning ancient aliens before we started. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> so like, well, I will. I will watch can an you, episode of ancient aliens for every cat you get. Can you, can you feel... I'll get a cat every time Alex fucks the gnome. Can you, can you feel... Can you feel the, the like, the denial coming from Sage can right now? Can you hear the denial coming out of this motherfucker? Alex admitted that he was straight up, like, like fucking gnomes. And then yeah, he said, I'd be out here fucking gnomes. He said that. That those words came out of his mouth. I, I I seem to remember that I filed a motion to have that struck from well, the record. Fair, Alex, he said <laughs> yeah, but he did say it. So. He said he was murder fucking the gnomes. Yeah, he did say he was murder fucking them. I That's I true. just I just I mean like seriously guys <laughs> I am beginning I am beginning legal proceedings right now. You guys will have to cease oh. from all accusations of me having sexual relations with gnomes <laughs> until this is resolved. Do? Um, lawyer or no? We're arbitrating. Yeah, are right you now. fucking your lawyer? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what's new, T Bone? Uh, tell me, tell me something. You tell me something interesting. I didn't come with very many facts did today. You, did you find yeah. any crazy shit that we should know about? Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I like that. Through the, is it gonna be when, when we have like, like a like a, t a huge audience that it's just it's just gonna be like, hey, what did you guys bring us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, any crazy shit for us? Yeah. Uh, this is gonna be like a. There's a light from. There's a light hall on the uh, on the internet lately. Light hall? Like I didn't get oh, very, oh, yeah. I didn't get very much hall, stuff. Like, you know. Yeah. Have you guys ever seen those hall videos on uh, on YouTube? What videos? The hall, like H A U L hall videos, where the where they'll uh, people will go shopping or something like that, and then they'll like. Whoa, there you go. Wow. And then they'll show everyone what they bought on stream. That's something no. incredibly boring. Oh, yeah, some, of those, some of those people have huge followings. Well, say really? you could do one of those for yeah. a yeah, for, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I got this one, <laughs> and I got this one, and I couldn't help Trisket. myself. <laughs> uh, Trisket. <laughs> we got Trisket, Biscuit. <laughs> this one is celery. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe throw it back into the yeah. This one, this one's, this one's tikka masala. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Looks like a Lexus. This is oh, soybean. Soybean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sage said he's gonna have fifty-seven cats. No, I didn't. You said I was gonna <laughs> have fifty-seven cats. Uh, so he was talking about how he yeah I don't know man not to get more cats he was like I gotta get more cats no I no no not how it is <laughs> oh, you're gonna get so many cats Sage I'm so excited for you oh boy just make sure you don't mistreat him alright yeah I just, I don't want... Like, I know it's hard to care for, like, literally most of the cats. And when they're all, like, going out on the floor, <laughs> I'm under you at all times. It's, it's real easy to step on a bag, you know, but, like... No, no, I'm, it's, you know, it's going to be really super easy, actually, because I'm not going to get that many. Uh, You're going to have an ant farm with cats. Yeah. <laughs> the Sage, I'll definitely help with the cats. No, I'm not... But I don't have the cats. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll, yeah, you can take some. I don't, I don't want that. Yeah, Sage has so many. <laughs> I, I'm not getting 50 cats. 
He's hitting 100 caps. He's yeah. hitting 100 caps. He's, 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 he's low. low. He's, he's low. low. He's low balling us yeah. right now. <laughs> Hold on, it was uh, green, green, blue, yeah, yellow. Red, yellow. red, yellow. It was basically up, up, over, down. Yeah, cool. mm -hmm. Ah, shit. Dang, man. Okay, that's actually that's, that's actually pretty. Good. That's actually this is actually good. But finally, he spawned me in this place that fucking made sense. Hey, let's walk out and get the hill. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have more of those. Oh, I was, uh, I was listening. Oh, shit. I was listening to, uh, that Hardcore History oh, yeah. podcast today. Yeah. Um, and he posted the, uh, last, um, the last, uh, oh, episode of his series on Japan in World War II. Oh, yeah? Um, and apparently... Um, there was a battle in Burma okay. between the British and the Japanese, mm -hmm. um, and they ended up fighting at, like, the Viceroy of Burma's house. Oh, come Damn, on. Damn, that sucks, That's dude. Rough. Uh, I'm pretty uh, good, pretty yeah, good. Nothing right. too crazy is going on. He's all right so far. Yep. Uh, got plenty of cats to go around. Yeah, yeah. There are, there are as many cats as there are people here. <laughs> and more. And, no, no, yeah. no, there's not more. <laughs> there are quite a few cats. Uh, there's three cats. And there's a lot. <laughs> there's, and only two of them are even out here hanging out with us. Uh, yeah, Sage keeps Yeah, Sage, yeah, Sage, no, is, I don't. Sage is mistreating his horde of cats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, nah, I'm doing good though. Me and Tim have almost beat Bloodborne. That's pretty really sweet, close. dude. Yeah, good for you guys. How far along in Death Loop are we really? See, see. No, no there's no, only three. Yeah. No, it's he three. He don't know what's up. It's three. It's three. It's three though. It's three. It's three. <laughs> three plus three plus three. Plus no, three. we get it, Sage. No, <laughs> you can't jump higher than three. Only three. Well, neither can Valve, so. Yeah. <laughs> you think you're the Valve of Cap? Yes, because I will never get to a higher number. Well, I mean, actually, since Valve made Steam, they have massive numbers of games. Oh, on my God. Platform, so. that's, you know that's not what I'm fucking talking about. <laughs> yeah, Sage is, Sage is moving beyond. beyond cap. Yeah, he's moving beyond having, you know singular like groupings of cats and now he's like crowdsourcing are you crowdsourcing I'm not. so can people can people no. just are you the are you a platform not, are you a platform cats. are you a platform for cats can people just come and drop their cats off at your house no 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 it's not a daycare they permanently live here it's just other people are responsible for bringing them to you right. no so you pick them up no yeah well, See, I'm not, I'm not understanding how you're the valve of cats right now. Because yeah. <laughs> you I, claimed that to be the case. <laughs> <laughs> because valve can't count to three. But you have more than two no. cats. You think, three, you think that you're going to you're gonna skip over three yeah, directly before. Yeah, Sage, Sage no. when did you become the Mother Teresa of cats? Yeah, <laughs> I'm not. Oh, that's that piece of cat. Okay. He did talk to animals. Mm hmm. Hmm. Did you talk to you talk to cats? Sage? Are you the no. cat whisperer? No. Mm -hmm. No, I'm I'm not actually. Okay, we already lost two of our three lives. Let's just uh drown yourself. Yep. <laughs> just start I'm over pretty there. I'm pretty impressed, dude. Like my family I, I come from a long line of cat owners and we only ever 
own two cats at a time. So. Yeah, I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sage has to be up for like a lot of his family members lacking cats. So that's why he's just pulling up on. You're just you're just Three. fulfilling your cat quota. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Three. This is gonna be like a temple bath in here. No. No, no it won't. <laughs> One day, Sage Sage is gonna trip and fall, and it's gonna look like Michelle Pfeiffer in uh, in Batman, <laughs> uh, Batman Two. Um, I saw one. I, I, I saw the couple of images that came out, and I wasn't really bothered by them because they, one, it was stuff that I either expected to happen or was hoping would happen, and I don't know. It didn't ruin anything for me. It did. It, it seemed those things. Seeing one thing in particular actually just made me more excited about the movie. No, the spoilers are coming out for that now. Well, well without without saying um, anything about what it is, do you guys know about the, the pictures that like just came out? I nope. Of them. I do know, you know like what they are. I haven't though. seen them. I don't know. Them. Okay. Uh, Alex, do you know? I'm not aware. I'm not aware of the situation. I mean, I, I yeah, I, it doesn't bother me at all to. I mean, if you I want, would, I can. I wouldn't care one way or the other. I'm fine with it. Yeah, you, I, I can show fine. you if you want. Sure. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll show, I'll show you real quick. We, uh, I guess we won't say out loud what it is because. Uh... Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, that's cool. Nice. Oh right. my God, Thanos is Spider-Man's father. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what it is. <laughs> I showed Mike, Mike, me and Michael, he also didn't care, so I showed him that picture earlier today, and he thought Tom Holland was Dennis Leary for some reason <laughs> in that picture, so his first instinct was, holy shit, Dennis Leary's in this movie? And I'm like, no, why are you so excited about that? Dennis Leary, Spider-Man, huh? I'd watch that. Well, Dennis Leary did play, um, like, Gwen Stacy's dad in the, Andrew, the shitty Andrew Garfield movies. I thought you were gonna say he played Gwen Stacy. That sounds very. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis Leary is Gwen Stacy. That would be uh, what a what a fucking what a makes some of kissing scenes interesting. Been avoiding YouTube completely. I opened it once, saw the headline, and closed. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be shitty to have to try and avoid that for you know another month or however long until the movie comes right. out. Right. Crazy. I, yeah, like I said, the, the, specific, the specifics don't bother me. That just makes me, like, I mean, that just makes me more excited about mm -hmm. the movie, honestly. Because um, I also don't think it's going to have a big bearing on the plot. I think it's going to be relatively small thing. It's just that, like, it's also... Well, uh, yeah, I would it's guess... It's like a small thing and a big yeah. thing at the same time, mm -hmm. you know? Right, right. But, like I said, I'm not, uh, I don't want to ruin it for anyone else, so... We won't, uh, we won't get into specifics. Okay. Oh, did I tell you Ulysses? I can't remember when I found this out or if I brought it up on last stream, but I did I tell you that uh, they have now completely mapped the city of Karakorum, the capital of Mongol oh, Empire? Oh, you're telling me about that. That should be Yeah, badass. they have this cool new, um, this cool new ground penetrating, like, quantum... Um, magnetism, like type of radar system. Okay. Um, what? So you use it to hunt down all the gnomes. No. <laughs> no. You're not uh, kill them. You're not. Okay. You're not gonna kill them because you're gonna fuck them. Yep. <laughs> oh my god! Shut up. Either way, I was saying something. Um, well, I was too. I was giving you the benefit of the doubt, even. Wow. Well, yeah. Um. But uh, but they they use this um this new uh quantum. Uh, radar device or whatever to see to see the quantum impacts of like human beings uh -huh. on their surroundings so they've been able to map the city in incredibly high detail like figure out where all the walls were where um, any place where people had lived um, that is amazing though. they even That's found amazing. they even found the area outside of the city where they did the coral ties where they would actually elect the new con yeah, they found all sorts of really, in but they mapped the city completely now just by driving like a pickup truck with this um, this uh, radar type thing on the back of it. It's amazing what the you know, what new technology is being mm -hmm. like the 
when they did that laser scan of the rainforest mm -hmm. in America and found yep. like all these fucking red, cities, yellow, Mayan red? cities mm -hmm. no one even knew was yep. there. Yep, yep, red and yellow. Yeah, the uh, the lidar was incredible. It was incredible for the uh, for the Mayan temples and stuff like that. They discovered whole new cities they didn't even know were there. Massive sure. cities. Mm -hmm. We yep. completely underestimated how vast these the pop yeah were. the population size was yeah. Like they're generally all in the area that we thought the Maya the Maya were in, but we've had to update our like what we thought the population of the empire was several times based on discovering just these massive cities. And that means there's a lot of ruins and stuff that are still there that we could actually go and check mm -hmm. out if we could get into the rainforest and right you know, for the cartels and shit that are operating there. Right. Well, and we've also uh, one thing that um, the, one of the problems with the. Um, with the pyramids in that part of the world, it's a twofold problem. One, they're step pyramids, so organic matter piles up on them much more than yeah. like the Egyptian style pyramid with the sheer walls. And also, I mean, Egypt is a pretty dry place where organic material doesn't build up as quickly. So some of the, some of the pyramids in uh, in Mexico are like look like hills now because they're covered in. Um, foliage and shit now. But there are those step pyramids in uh, Ethiopia. Yeah. For the name of the famous one, but there's a bunch of them down there that are quite large. And those also you know, are pretty visible because of the dry climate. Right. Yep. Yeah. It takes. It takes. It takes a really. It takes the rainy climate and all of that. But yeah, some of some of those pyramids have basically disappeared in 500 years, whereas the pyramids in Egypt have been up for almost 5,000. But it's just the difference in climate. And, some of it's in the construction, but there are step pyramids in Egypt too. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was sort of the prototype pyramid. Finally got this chance. Yeah. Stabled the reactor, killed her. I'm learning about super volcanoes. Super volcanoes. Oh yeah. Because you know we got the one under Yellowstone, right? Yep. Yep. And there's apparently like a whole bunch of them throughout the world, and like quite a few of them are actually in the uh, continental United States. Like St. Helens is a super volcano, isn't it? I think so, yeah, like underneath the mm -hmm. active chunk of it. Yeah. Um, there's one in Japan that's erupting right now. Oh, shit, really? Yeah. It's yeah. Not like it's not a eruption. huge eruption or anything. It's a I would be. that in the past has had huge eruptions. I would be much more concerned about La Palma right now if I was concerned about an ongoing volcanic eruption. Yeah. Um, but that's only because that's the island that they say. Um, half of the island could fall into the sea and that's where all those crazy like if you ever seen one of those like usually it makes like discovery channel doomsday um documentaries and stuff like top 10 like whatever because yeah, yeah. if half of the island fell into the ocean it would cause a tsunami that would like wipe out the eastern seaboard of the u.s yeah. chunks of brazil mm -hmm. stuff like that no one's saying that's going to happen in this eruption, but this eruption's been going on for like a month and a half now, so... Well, I mean, hell, if, if any of these mm -hmm. things would off, I mean, just the sheer amount of ash in the atmosphere would be well, absolutely devastating for the world. Well, I mean, Krakatoa did cause a nuclear winter, yeah, so... Yeah, that was a relatively volcano. minor eruption so, his, yeah historically speaking it's volcanoes massive intense. <laughs> it's massive for our yeah well volcanoes kind of mock us like i do think it's really important for us to reduce our carbon emissions yeah. but volcanoes just mock us with the fact that like a volcano can go off and equal the output of like all of humanity in carbon emissions almost yeah. immediately yeah yeah it's been erupting for quite a while now um, uh, they had they had to evac. I think they evacuated most of the island. Now it ate up a ton of houses. It was it was it was pretty impressive to see the uh, the extent of the destruction. Um, volcanoes are not to be messed with. No. Good God, no. Unless you're that one dude in Pompeii that gets off to them. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, then you, like, you have to. Yeah, right. I mean, there are people who chase volcanoes. There was a French couple that were actually, I, they're really cool people because they got some amazing footage of volcanoes, but they did eventually get caught in the pyroca pyroclastic flow and they died. Mm -hmm. I'm not surprised it happened eventually. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, I have a hard time imagining, like, not catching up to you. Right. 
There are a lot of people who do that. Well, those pyroclastic flows are fast. Yeah. Like, the right. lava flow is very slow, but the pyroclastic flow, when it's just, like, the massive amount of ash, like, that like sweep over steam your and head. ash, that's just, like, yeah. will dissolve, will dissolve your yeah, bones. Yeah, right, and it's so hot that it right. will basically dissolve you when it hits you. And, yeah, and that, that shit's hard to outrun. Yeah. That's pretty quick. Well, that, I mean, that's what got most of the people at Pompeii was the yeah. pyroclastic flow. They couldn't yeah. run away from the lava. Have you ever seen that movie Pompeii? That is like absolute garbage. Mm, yeah. It's got Kit yeah. Harrington. Mm-hmm. And that terrible. Ter- it kind of goes into the mythology movie category. I, okay. It's, it's, I, Ew. I, Why would you want like this mythology movie about Pompeii? You could make a pretty interesting movie about Pompeii about without actual, it. Well, I mean, then I feel like it's going to turn into like an ancient Roman version of the day after tomorrow or something. I mean, I, I'd watch it. <laughs> yeah, when did well, that movie come out? Even, if it had Kid Harrington in it, yeah. yeah in like, 2010s, it was well old. after Game of Thrones had started, for sure. Pompeii, huh? Hmm. Mm. I'd watch a movie called Pompey. Like that well, might well, actually well, be interesting. Well. Yeah, that might actually oh, okay. be interesting. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's been movies about him, or at least documented. He, well, he's definitely been a side character in any number of movies he's about Julius Caesar. Yeah, himself. Julius Caesar always steals the limelight. Right. But, he well, he was in an episode of Spartacus. There you go. Yeah. There but Julius it. Caesar was in seasons of Spartacus. Yes. That, that one season. one season of Spartacus. Then yeah. you got old Ben <laughs> Francis. Wow. That's a character for you. <laughs> Well, Vasus should have just accepted that he was only ever going to be good at making money. Yeah. Like, he the was version not a of general. him that's in that show is like a much yeah. more like kind of honorable villain character. Not super accurate to the movie. Right. Crassus was a piece of shit, dude. Oh, yeah. The Parthians gave him what he deserved. Yeah. Dude, he made... One of the ways he made his fortune was by establishing the only fire department, basically, in in Rome. And he would come to your house as it was burning down. And he would charge you for um, to put it out. And if you didn't pay, he would just buy the smoking ruins of your house after it was basically worthless, and then rebuild it. That's how he. That's how he ended up owning massive chunks of Rome and became one of the richest people in human history. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, he was a yep. Land yep. Well, there weren't. There wasn't many ways to acquire vast amounts of wealth in Rome. That's why most of the richest people in Rome owned a lot of land. Don't worry, we'll bring that back here. Dude, Monsanto already owns more, a higher percentage of land than, like, Roman senators could have ever dreamed of. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> and, you know, especially after COVID, you had so many companies going in and buying up land. Mm-hmm. In the situation... In Bill Nigeria. Gates. Bill Gates is the largest private landowner in America now. It's not just an American thing, either. I know Europe gets a problem. Like, huge amounts of Germany has been bought up. Yeah. It's impossible to get, like home ownership there now. A lot of billionaires in China are buying up shit in Africa, right? Yeah. Uh, they own a big chunk of... Hey, Cheddar Baby Squad, how are you doing tonight, dude? Uh, Is that what's another up? streamer? Oh, nice, nice. Very cool. What's up, dude? How you doing? Okay. So I didn't get all of these. So there's... Shit, this isn't the right picture. There's still, like, another one, I think. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. There's like... Yeah, 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 or two, or, yeah, or two. Three hoes. Three, 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 yeah, three, yeah. And, and, and three yeah. cats. Yeah. Th- yeah. And counting. No, not and counting. <laughs> not gonna, and counting. You're gonna, three, get, a TL, not you're gonna get a TLC show, 18 cats and counting. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're gonna be sitting there and just like mound of cat litters. So I don't know how it got so bad. <laughs> no, that's not. No. <laughs> I'm not. No, no Man. more than three cats. I will not get. They're trying to paint me as some crazy cat lady. It's not <laughs> happening. I mean, you did just go from no cats to three in a very. I, I went short from time. one to three. I went from one to three. He will be great on that show because he really will be indignant about it too. Yeah. He'll be like, he'll be like, I don't have too many cats. <laughs> I only have 117. <laughs> oh. I waited a month to get the last one. 
Man. Gravy was your gateway cat. Are you? Got mine a short break of work. Nice, dude. Nice, dude. Oh, interesting thing I was learning about. Um, so the moon Ganymede apparently has a sizable ocean underneath its uh, crust, right? Okay. Oh, God. And it's sort of a... There's a lot of like new theories about how exactly Ganymede is structured. I like my plan with the crust cut off, dude. <laughs> well, <I> mean, <laughs> <laughs> you like the planet with the crust cut off? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pizza. Oh, my God. But, um... It's theorized, it used to be theorized that, like, the ocean in Ganymede is, like, uh, 150 kilometers deep or 100 okay. kilometers deep, something like that, right? Some crazy high number. And sure. due to the density of the moon, like, uh, it would be one of those things where the pressure would be too high at the bottom for it to have, like, a, a connection between, like, the, the liquid ocean and, like, the mineral surfaces of the planet. Oh, okay, okay. sure. So you get this sort of area of, like, high pressure of ice. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah, I've heard, I, I've heard about um, some of the high-pressure ice they think is um, on Mars. Yeah. So this would be like that, but at the bottom of an ocean. Right? Oh, okay. Interesting. And so if that's the case, you know, you couldn't have life in the oceans because there's no uh, connection between the minerals of the planets and life to feed on, right? Yep. But it's now theorized that Ganymede might actually be a lot more complicated than we thought. It's uh, one of the theories floating around is that it's actually sort of a layered system where you've got multiple layers of ocean and then ice and ocean and then ice and that the bottom layer Ooh. of ocean would actually have a connection with the minerals and would be you know, sort of jacked into the uh, geological activity of the moon. Mmm, that reminds me of one of those crepe cakes. Yeah, that's exactly what it's like. Mmm. <laughs> Except you find That life planet inside. sounds delicious, dude. <laughs> Planets. <laughs> I don't even care if they left the crust on. I'm going to try it. The moon's not the planet. Well, whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> Fine. I'll eat the mini planet. Are you going to galactus over here? Well, I mean, I, they should at least come in, like, packs of, like, three or four, though, right? If they're going to make it so small. <laughs> 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 I actually kind of want to see, like, somebody do, like, a... Like a version of Galactus for a time at like the convenience store looking at the shelf of like of like bite sized planets or whatever. <laughs> it's so like you know every planet. year they make the planet smaller but they <laughs> charge the same. You <laughs> hear <laughs> <laughs> that character go, huh? Fire a gunshot right next to their head and they go, huh. Well you didn't hit them. True, but uh, oh god damn oh, it! Oh man, dude! That sucks. Ah, it's the same part. <laughs> it's the same part as last time. Uh, yes, you supposedly know what you're doing this time. Supposedly. <laughs> yeah, so this is in contrast to Europa, which is less dense, and like even though it also has a similarly really deep ocean, it would presumably have that connection between you know mineral crust and right ocean. Right. And Europa doesn't have, um, like, an actual, like, crust above the ocean. Mm -hmm. Right. Of, you know, ice and shit. Yeah. Huh, that's interesting. So we might have two possible places for life to be just, like, right next to each other in the core system. So huh. we'd, have to, we'd have to go through all of those layers, dude. Yeah. It's a lot of work. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> that, that's your problem with it? It sounds, it sounds hard. I don't know, man. Like, and also, like, we could make this discovery that would radically change our perception of, of our place in the universe. But it sounds like a lot of work, so let's not. Yeah, fuck I'm it. just saying. I'm just fuck saying. The prime director. I'm just, right? <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You start drilling. You get through the crust. Yeah. You're like, here we go, and then all of a sudden, boom! You hit another crust. Yeah. How many times do you want to do that? Five or six. Is that how what, how many layers they think there is? That's what I thought, yeah. Okay, I mean, uh, I mean, I guess you could go through that many. Five, that five or six doesn't sound like a lot of time. It's a lot of. It's, it's a. Of that's a lot of. of water in that's life. a lot of crust, dude. Uh, uh, yeah. Like, I don't know if you'd be too happy if you bought a it loaf of bread. Nice. If you bought a loaf of bread and there were six crusts on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if it was like a pizza where it's got rings of crust? You know? Yeah. What if you, what if your pepperoni was interrupted by six rings of crust? <laughs> I guess it comes before you, a partridge in a pear tree. Would you, yeah, would you eat that pizza if if there were six rings of crust in it? You're I mean, not wrong. 
What? Oh, there's double cheese. Ooh, oh my cheese God, that stuff. Was it. That was the last one. Nice. It was sitting nice. right here in the fucking opening area. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wow. Well, okay. Whatever. At least you got it. Yeah, at least you got it. I would, I would, I would, if it was stuffed crust, I'd consider eating it. That sounds kind of good. Actually. That does sound kind of good. What they should do, it should just, damn it, now you're changing my entire view on things. It should all, <laughs> it should be all crust. Just like nothing but stuffed yeah, crust. Man. So I you just, just, you just want the stuffed crust, you don't want the pizza. Have you ever seen a traditional Norwegian wedding cake? No, it doesn't look like pizza. <laughs> no, but... No. Ja oh, fish jello! <laughs> it's called a krunzakaka. Krunzakaka? Yeah, it's, it doesn't sound delicious it's not. A, it's not amazing. Um, but it's, it's, it looks like that. If you could do that with stuffed crusts... <laughs> I'd eat like that. An ah, a lot of cookies. Yeah. If they could do that, if they could do that with, uh... That actually looks kind of good. What? It, it's almond cookies, so it's not bad. But like, it, I mean, it's actually pretty good if you like dip them in coffee or no, like tea or something. Salt down there, shit. I, I gotta go to Norwegian weddings. No, okay. Well, if I if I have, is he really yeah. really selling you on it? Yeah. Man. It's not. I mean, it's not bad. I just I can only eat so much almond cookie. It's it's very generous. Yeah, I, can, I can eat all the almonds. It's cookies. very generous to call it a cake. It is a nine. stack of cookies, but I mean, like. Okay, well, I'm just falling off for shit anyway. You got blown up by a mine, I think. No, I got shot and then I fell on a mine. Oh, okay. Uh. So I mean, technically. You should yes, probably fall but, elsewhere, Sage. I, well, yeah. <laughs> and remember not to fall dick first onto the mine. Yeah. No, I, I don't, I'm not Alex in the gnome on <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, he's calling you out tonight. He is, man. He's just mad because we were right about the cat, so he has to lie about me and gnomes. <laughs> uh, I, think, I think you're just saying that we're right about the gnomes. <laughs> I, see, see, he keeps on saying I said things that I didn't say. He you said did, I'm out here he fucking did, all these gnomes. He did say those things about cats, though. No, That's no, you yeah. definitely said those things about me. I didn't say those There's things about cats. There's been a lot of hard truths that have come out tonight. <laughs> yeah. You guys have, have, have you know, really been shining a couple of lights on some issues tonight. Yeah, yeah, in a deep examination of, of say, just growing cat problem. Yep. And you've been doing a deep examination of those gnomes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, 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 had to, we had to talk about Alex's gnome STDs at one point. He has gnomeria. Yeah, he's got gnomeria. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> What is that? I mean, you actually do have a lot of cats, Sage. <laughs> Not as many as the gnomes you fucked. <laughs> well, I don't have. To... <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna lean into the joke. At least I don't have to take the gnomes home with me. <laughs> you, I've made you take so many gnomes home with yeah, you. you take a lot of gnomes home when you're. Alex, there. how are you gonna fuck the gnomes if you don't take them home with you? Yeah, gnomes don't got homes of their own. You know, you, you think I fuck. You think I would fuck gnomes at my house? You gotta, you gotta on take, my bed sheets? Yeah. You gotta take those no. gnome holes home, dude. No, dude. I, you can't fit into like the little trees they live in or whatever. Yeah. I well, I mean, you're all you're doing is making arguments for how I'm not fucking gnomes because I know, no matter no matter what you say about me, whether you say I hate fuck the gnomes or whatever, I <laughs> would never bring one to my house. Like, so what? You like fucking the yard? Yeah, and you fuck it like outside and call a cab. You fuck it in your car? I'm not. I wouldn't fuck it in any of my private you property. You're gonna play. You're gonna green eggs and ham this shit. Oh, I see what you're saying, Alex. What you do is you like go to, like a sleazy motel and like it's you and this gnome standing there and like you like you know you like kind of sheepishly like fill in the, the fucking uh. I'm really nervous, just, you know? I don't, I'm really just, like, tr nauseated by, like, <laughs> by the imagining of myself in that situation. Yeah. Like, that's got to be, like, it's that's not the kind of, the real thing, is that why? No, that's that? the kind of, that's the kind of thing that would, like, if, if you were making, like, 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 one of those kind of ironic, my life is shitty kind of sitcoms, <laughs> like, like, my name is Earl or something like that, like, that would be the beginning of it, that, that's the image for me that would be, like, my rock bottom. So it's like a little yellow list of all the gnomes you want to fuck. <laughs> no, just, just like, just be like, like, just if I was at, if I was at a, no, if I was at a Motel 6 with a, if I was at a Motel 6 with a gnome, like, I would literally, like, like, the record scratch, and then I'd look up and I'd be like, bet you wonder how I got here. Like, 
<laughs> well, first I wanted to fuck this one down, and it just spiraled out of it's control. Like, it's like I've been on amphetamines for the last, like, 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to chase the high I got the first time I found it. Well, I wouldn't bring a gnome anywhere better. <laughs> But you're saying you would bring it to a Motel 6 and fuck it at one of those. I wouldn't, but it just I'm saying, like, I can't imagine I would bring it, like... So when you, when you rent out the room, is it under your name or the nose name? I would definitely not put anything my name near that situation, dude. Oh, God damn it! do I still need one more? Yeah. Is there still, there's still another one? Fuck! <laughs> Alright, if, uh, if, if, if I don't get this in the next... 17 minutes, I'm going to do it off stream <laughs> before okay. uh, we come back for the next one. Okay. Because this, this mission is eaten up far more time than it needs to. Yeah, you've been doing this pretty much all day. Yep. We got a couple other ones done first. We did. But, right. Uh, yeah, yeah, we, we finished off that, that plot. That was good. Yeah. yeah. And this is supposed to be a plot thread, we just haven't fucking managed to finish it. <laughs> <laughs> one of these days. One of these days, right to the moon. <laughs> God, domestic abuse is hilarious. It's, I mean, it's not. <laughs> <but> it's, <laughs> no, I know, but that's the point. That, 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 that show. I just couldn't that understand that that show, you know, what was that, Honeymooners? Yeah, yeah that was yeah. that awful Honeymooners <laughs> show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, was that he beat his wife. If these were a strange time. Oh, gravy's making biscuits. Uh, yeah. Oh, I thought you meant she was taking a shit. <laughs> I was like, oh, you just casually let your cat's crap on the floor. And your cat. Well, when you have so many. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. uh, so what kind of sores are you getting out of these gnomes? <laughs> You know, Sage. <laughs> You're I'm, not letting the cats go, so I'm not letting the gnomes go. It's only fair. I just, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess that's fair. I just, I mean, like, I can't really s say anything specifically because it's not Are true. Are you under an NDA? Did no. You fuck a famous gnome? <laughs> no, it's just. You sleep with a really famous gnome and just, now you can't talk it's about just it? That I'm you know, like the Lindsey Graham of gnome. Is, is it David Gnome? Fucking <laughs> 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 gnome lean over and go, oh, Alex, why did you, why did you check out my lady? <laughs> oh, God, dude. Don't, talk, don't you talk about that fucking Lindsey Graham shit to me. <laughs> <laughs> No, I just, I just, all I can say is that, like, you fucked up. I don't, I mean, I don't, I also, like, I, I, I don't, and I can't. Are you one of the people who believes that, like, oral sex doesn't count as fucking? So no, you, like, blow no, 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 no. But, like, I just, we, we can, we can focus on this whole gnome thing as a dodge from Sage answering the important cat questions. That's but like, a good point. Like, like, what like, about obviously, the obviously, gnome? obviously, <laughs> obviously, I'm not fucking gnomes. Like, at the end of the day, we all know that gnomes aren't real. But, like, Sage does have an increasingly large collection of cats. <laughs> There's a limited number of them, and I don't believe that you're not actually fucking gnomes. I mean, all I can say is, like, at the end of the day, there aren't gnomes. Like, gnomes as a concept exists. Right. Like, you, could, know, like, you could accuse me of masturbating to gnomes, but, I mean, there are no gnomes well, for me to fuck. I just hate gnomes as a concept. You could, you could put people in costumes. Don't sell yourself short. Yeah, you could, like, you know, paint so. people dress up like gnomes. You just, like, show them that poster of David Gnome and be like, I want this put in my ass. <laughs> okay. So, so, okay. I think I have a recording of Alex saying that, actually. <laughs> I mean, okay. Well, like, so I'm fucking people cosplaying as gnomes? Yeah, that's one thing you're doing. I think okay. you probably... <laughs> that's also, one thing. I, I think it's also possible. We have to consider this. You may have found, like, a like a hidden portal to Narnia or something, and you're going through that. To, Not impossible. 
go through some other no portals, if you know what I mean. So I can, what, go see Mr. Dumbass or whatever his name is? <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 I, I really do like the best. <laughs> I the name to do. <laughs> no, I know it's like Tumnus yeah. or whatever, but I just always, anytime he's like, my name's Mr. Tumnus, I just always sounded like Dumbass. <laughs> my name's Mr. Dumbass. <laughs> Is it is it uh is it Shawshank Redemption where uh he has to crawl out of that gnome's ass to escape the prison? <laughs> no. Sorry, that's your life story. <laughs> no, where he's talking uh where he's reading the title of the book and he's like Alexander Dumbass <laughs> instead of Tumon. Oh, I do think that's yeah. yeah, I do think that's that movie. It's a good movie. Well, Shawshank Redemption, that's a classic yeah. dude. Mm-hmm. Absolute classic. Alright. We gotta we still we gotta figure out where the hell you there could pot where the hell there's just one more somewhere. I don't fucking have any goddamn idea. You'll you'll get it, Sage. You got this. I I will, it's just but I, I just I just don't know where it'll look. Yeah. That's what it's like when Sage is looking for a one of his casts. He just has to go through all the different casts. Like I know I, I know this one this one's around here somewhere, and they all look the fuck the same. Yeah, he's over there. He's like. He's just picking up cats. He's like saffron, burrito. I'm actually a big fan of this idea, Sage. I think you should get all of these cats. I know. You can get all those cats for yourself. Um, but I, I just feel like you're more qualified to take care of all of these cats. You have more cats than I have, bro. Yeah. Like, I, I know. By, but only, <coughs> but not by that many. <laughs> <laughs> not by that many. Bro, you're saying it's a lot of stuff that you would get any of that. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> See you, man. Thank you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, this is you're wearing him down. No, all we gotta do is tell Nadia he needs another cat. I don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Number four is coming. No. no. <laughs> yep. I don't want it. I don't want any more cats. <laughs> I swear to God. Come on, man. You're going to tell the audience, like, I want another cat, I want to name it Beefsteak. No, oh, Beefsteak. Beefsteak. <laughs> <laughs> like after the tomato? Yeah. Nice. It's a good idea. Uh, then I you'll mean, have to get it. But but Sage, I mean like you're you you know, you got biscuits and gravy and uh, nutmeg. Yeah, not nutmeg's already gonna be out one out. Pepper better almost. Yeah. yeah. But if you get but if you get beefsteak, I feel like you have to get another tomato themed cat. Like you gotta get Roma yeah, no. Roma or something, yeah. Just don't think you can stick with just one tomato themed cat. I think scones and biscuit would get it would get along. Did you say scones is mean not like all of the cats? Yeah, I was talking about it as far as the name thing goes, because oh. we got biscuits and gravy, scones and biscuits might be might be a good combo. Tomato See? themed cat. Yeah, Sage. Come well, on. It wouldn't beef. be cute. That's not Roma, the same thing. Roma and beefsteak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the next two Those cats. Those are the next two cats, Sage. It's gonna be the thing, it's gonna be just like uh, uh, Biscuit and Nutmeg, where you're gonna get beefsteak, right? And you're like, oh, beefsteak has like a brother. I can't yeah. let, I can't separate them, I have to get them both. No, and then I'm not like, getting oh, more. You know, they both had a mother. Yeah. Oh my god. Too. 
Yeah, no, that's not happening. Hey, Sage had another Sage in the litter of kittens. Sage, Sage, is, oh. Sage, Sage is Sage is uh, Sage is gonna have basically like chain migration for cats. Where he'll be like, well, you gotta get his uncle over here. <laughs> that's funny though. <laughs> It's not happening. Man. It's fine. <laughs> that is that is. Well, looking for. What is the one you're looking for? Wow, this quest kind of sucks. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like this. It's mission. not very like. It's not super obvious exactly what it's wanting you to do. Either. I mean, like, oh, looks like a Lexus. No. <laughs> they they all have the gener. They have a similar kind of look to them, or like mm -hmm. kind of, but. I feel like it doesn't really fit in with the rest of the game, like, you know, with everything what you've been doing so far. Yeah, I, yeah, I'll, I will say this is not the greatest. Have you ever seen those, like, quilt tiles that people put on their barns? That's what it looks like you're looking for. Yeah, pretty accurate. Yeah. Oh, shit, I bet that's it. Okay. Gotta find a way to end there. That works. Okay. Yeah, fuck you, I'm not... Shit, this isn't the right Really? Picture. That's not it? <laughs> Damn, the one dude. locked behind like the secret area? That's that's not wow, okay. <sighs> uh that's Oh, where's this go? Another art also not going on. Wait. <laughs> There's a button. Push it. Push it. Yeah. Wow, uh, damn, how far down is this thing gonna be? Um, <laughs> Ooh. Got me a lot of Italian food now with that tomato talk. Is that gonna be the mm. next cat naming thing? Favorite, favorite Italian food. Get, like, uh, just brought us back into this room. T-Bone, what's your favorite Italian dish? Whatever it is, Sage will name his next cat after it. Yeah. That's that's uh that's that's your reward for being I'm a not, loyal viewer. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Every yeah. time we get like a, a like a new regular viewer, they can say they what can, their favorite food is in the chat and Sage and will name, Sage will one, name one of his cats I'm not after. Name it a cat. <laughs> <laughs> not naming any more cats. <laughs> like that, that's it. Hmm. No, that's it. Hmm. It is it. For now. Hmm. No, for 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 forever. He says that, but... I, yeah, I do say that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, where the fuck... T-Bone noticing me talking about tomatoes and make, it making her think about Italian food now has me thinking about Italian food. You hungry now? A little bit. I, we should get one of those all, all uh, mozzarella crust pieces. Ooh, it does sound pretty good. It's crust all the way down. Yeah. I also don't know, I tend to take recommendations whenever I go out, so I don't know the names of names except for the classics. I mean, the classics are great. I love lasagna. Like, I like anything with layers. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah I like cakes with layers. I like lasagna. I like, like those layered crepe things. Like, oh, oh, hold on. I like, uh... Finally. Finally. Uh, that took a long time. Okay. So you can find another fucking variation of a biohazard picture. Do I have them all? I see three. So, no. So there's one more. <laughs> Jeez. Well, you have to get them in a specific order? No, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, baked ziti is good. Definitely. My mom always used to make baked spaghetti when we were a kid. And just throw it in a casserole pan and cover it in cheese. That was pretty good, too. My grandma used to, used to, used to uh, throw, like... Awful artificially flavored potato chips and lard in the bake that. <laughs> that sounds fucking <laughs> okay. I don't know, man. I, I I love I love garbage, fatty, horrible food. So I'm like tempted by that. <laughs> Do you um, have any recommendations? Hmm. Uh, I'm trying to think. Um, it was terrible. It tasted like plastic. No, I mean honestly, I just read the I read the descriptions of stuff on menus and just like that yeah, sounds okay. I don't remember the names of stuff either. So we're kind of in the same boat there. Mm. I am so 
so tired of looking for these fucking pictograms. I like, uh, oh, Fruity Damar is alright. That's like a really... Like a pop star. <laughs> Fruity Damar. But Fruity, Fruity Damar is like, uh, like, um, it's like a spicy, a pretty spicy, um, sauce. And then it's like, uh, shrimp and pasta. It's pretty good. Uh, oh, shit. Okay, so here's another way to leave. Alright. Huh. Okay. Is that another one on the floor? Or did you do that on the floor? Uh, oh. It's an art. I guess. Goddamn. But not the one I'm looking for. What's your favorite, uh, what's your favorite kind of food, T-Bone? I do like this pizza idea. We should, we should fucking make that. Oh, yeah, I think that. I, like I said, that Krumza Kaka, like, I think that would be a good way to do, like, in a pile of, um, Look. stuffed crust. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it does sound mm -hmm. delicious. Yeah, it does. Then you could just like pour pizza sauce up the middle Ooh, of it. Ooh, like a like a volcano. Yeah, like yeah. a fountain. Yeah. I like that. It could be like a party mm -hmm. pizza thing. Yeah, it's a good idea, Sage. We should do that. We should do that. Like a big just a party pizza. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't have any objections there. God damn, where the fuck? Sage wants the fountain. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I'm very against that. You know how at a party, sometimes you'll get a guest that'll just come in and just start like pocketing all like all this food to take home for later stages like that. But Do it, uh, like there are people like that? People's houses. What? Ooh, Thai food's so good. Oh, yeah, yeah basil Thai. rice really yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Thai some Thai some badass fuck food. I always like when yeah. you've got like it's sort of like a fruit like meat combo where it's like kind of that, like the spicy sauce. Mm -hmm. Uh, papaya salad, you ever had that? That's papaya, actually... Not papaya salad, I have had the mm. papaya, like, chicken or something like that before. Papaya salad is pretty good. I believe it. Um, I really like the Thai basil. Like, that, that there's so much more f basil flavor in that than the, you know, a really than the European style. style. Just like a few blocks down that way. What's it called? Uh, like, on... I oh, yeah, I've been there. Yeah, 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 right by the porn shop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what it is, <laughs> like, it's right next to it. <laughs> more than just porn there. I know, I've purchased things there. There. <laughs> that was it. That was it. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> to fuck. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yep. That's what I thought. Yep. Yep. That's 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 what you. Heard that's here. What I buy there. That's what you hear. The porn store to buy gnomes. Yep. They sell gnomes there. Uh, I guess. <laughs> I mean, they're obviously like sex doll gnomes, but like. Yeah. yeah because there, there's a market for that. Yeah, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping an industry alive. <laughs> hey. Hey, Yoshino. Uh, what's up? up? Long time no see. We're actually just about to end. Ah. Um, Sadly. Bummer, man. We learned a lot about a lot of very revealing things about Sage and Alex today. Well, Alex. Everything is about me. Up. Everything about me. <laughs> everything about me was made up, but I still. Well, we're coming about back. You is we're coming fact. back. We're coming back All to the facts. fact. We're coming back to the fact that Sage is acquiring yes. cats at an alarming no, rate. <laughs> like I just, I just, there's, there's no evidence for me fucking gnomes. The evidence of Sage's cat problem I'm is pretty, sitting I, in front of me right now. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> there's lots of evidence. You you You've got a cat calling gnome. gnome. Yeah. And you said you you said it. You said it. You said you were fucking gnomes. Yep. I did. No, uh, you admitted it. No, 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 no. Sage admitted he's going to get No, dude. No. I'm you probably, probably, you, No, you. You guys, you guys right now, like, I mean, you guys are racking up counts. Uh, you're, you're violating the injunction that I placed on you. Oh. oh, are we? I'm yeah, Judge Dragon you know, Executioner. That. You're leaving me right before our wedding? Who's getting married? You and a gnome? Yeah, no. you and you getting married to a gnome? No, 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 <laughs> no. I, I mean, I got, I got a family that I'd have to explain oh, no. that to. No. Yeah, family and gnomes. No. All right. Well, we are gonna end here. T Bone, thank you for hanging out with us. He fucks gnomes. Uh, <laughs> sorry, we had to go so soon, Yoshino. Yeah, to sorry, see you, man. made it right in before you we stopped. You didn't get to see all Sage's new cats. Well, you know, I... I there will be more next time. Maybe, there will not be more next time. <laughs> <laughs> dirty cat. Yep. They're coming tomorrow in a truck. No, <laughs> dude, no. No. It's not happening. Not happening. Yeah, good seeing you too.
right. Have a good night, everybody. Yeah. Have a good night, everybody. See ya. Bye. Be a little countdown, and we'll be gone. Countdown to your next cat. Yeah, you too. This is not a countdown to the next cat. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, no. seven, no. six, five, four, three, two.